YouTube, Dr. Glockin here. What we're going to do today is we're going to try to powder coat 41 caliber bullets using a little bit different technique. We're going to do this much like molly coating. First step, the bullet lead bullets here. We're going to wash all the oil off of them. A little acetone here. A little sprinkle. Please do in a well ventilated area. That ought to do it. Put them there to a dry spot. I'm kind of try to evaporate out a little bit. Yes, I know I have oil on my hands, but I don't think that much is really going to hurt it any. Come over here to our oven. Come over here to our oven. I'm already preheat. I'm set on right at 400 degrees. Most of these thermostats are a little off. I'm going to take a container. at any local discount store. Any of you that's watched Molly Coating have done it. You'll be pretty familiar with this process. Container 6,000 BBs. experimental. I'm going to try it about that full. Harbor Freight Orange Powder. Work. It's like I got about yeah, two, three tablespoons in there. Get a little, a little bit more. It's acetone, it's about 55 degrees in here. Should be dry. shake and bake guys. This painter's tape by the way. Comes off easy. Let's 
you here in a minute why I'm going to tape it off good. transfer to the BBs and the bullets impregnating that polymer into it not transfer it, just bouncing my box all around we're going to turn this on we're going to give it about 20 minutes. Well, turned out I didn't need 20 minutes. I checked it out after 10. And by golly, they look pretty well done. Take a pair of hemostats, because at this point in time you do not want to touch bullets with your bare hand. Touch them with your bare hand and you knock the powder off of it. But I will tell you the powder seems to be impregnated a lot better right now than what they were when I electrostatic powder coated using the Harbor Freight Gun. Nothing against the Harbor Freight Gun, it's a great system, definitely worth the money. But we're going to take all these out, stack them up. By the way, the aluminum foil that I'm using is not the cheapest stuff you can find, but it's not too out of sight on price. Non-stick foil, very important. If you don't use non-stick foil, you're going to be peeling foil forever. Well, anyway, I'm going to stack these up and we'll give it somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes in the oven. And uh, we'll probably cut right here and a little bit later I'll show you the end result. Yeah, we're back now. We've been sitting in the oven now for uh, about 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Like I said, this is an experiment the whole way. Pull them out. Okay, right out of the oven. We're hot. Tell you what, overall, cosmetically, they look real good. Let's pick one out here. It's kind of got a little bit of a flange on it. Okay, what we have here, by the way, that bullet's still warm. I've had just a little bit better finish with electrostatic, but I'll tell you, not a whole lot. Good enough is good enough. It doesn't have to look pretty for 20 years in the weather. It needs to make, eh, you know, a 10 inch flight down a barrel. But nose, 100% coverage, everything's good. True test will be when we shoot it. But there's a 24 ounce framing hammer. I want to see what kind of bond we have here.
Look at there. Not a single flake. It has stretched it. Everything's good.